As a woman, have you ever considered that you may be biased towards yourself due to centuries of conditioning? It's easy to point fingers at men and society to fix the gender equality issue, and they definitely have a role to play. But without addressing and overcoming our own blind spot, we are likely to continue earning 23 to 35% less than men doing the same work. The real work of women empowerment starts with us. It starts with us changing our own intrinsic expectations and showing up. In this way, we'll show others how to treat us. And this doesn't have to mean that we have to be as hard as nails. In fact, my favorite analogy for a strong woman comes from something I read some years ago that's really stuck with me. We are strength, like silk, disguised in softness. Did you know that keto for kilo, silk is tougher than steel? Sounds like a woman, if you ask me. Soft yet robust, beautiful yet hardy, flexible but unbreakable. And of course, women are capable of self-healing and healing others. In business, strength often means having the ability to wear many different hats. In fact, in my talk, which jacket are you wearing now? I talk about the different jackets women wear in their lives. We have to lead by example and overcome the odds. And typically there's not a lot of luxury involved. Here are some of the strands of silk that you're going to need. The power of peace of mind. Try accepting what can't be controlled, forgiving yourself and others and focusing on the present. Another strand is financial empowerment. Financially independent women are unstoppable because they have freedom of choice. Avoidance of feminine guilt is an important strand because women are constantly navigating manipulation quicksand, which can lead to making decisions based on emotion rather than insight. The strand of becoming more supportable is important because being a strong woman doesn't mean doing it all. You can say yes, you can say no, and you can delegate. Accept help without feeling the need to control how others help you. Giving responsibility back is not a common strand that is discussed. Women love to be needed by others, but doing everything ourselves leads to burnout. Whether it's a task or a mental responsibility, give it back if it's not yours to take. And the final strand is that you need to ditch imposter syndrome. Stop asking if you are worthy of the person's attention or a job opportunity and rather ask, is it worthy of you? In the gender equality conversation, we're simply not talking loudly enough to ourselves. Start there and build strength like silk. If you don't already know who I am, I'm Nikki Bush. I help strong women in business to be stronger so they can own their power. Connect with me at info at nikkibush.com to find out how to stop being the supporting act at home and at work. Book a talk for the women in your organization to help them take the lead role by following the path of centuries of divas, doyens, and 20 million bucks a movie heroines.